Good morning, modern steaders. <sighs> we got some snow last night. Not as much as they were calling for, and now it's raining out. Ugh. Hopefully we don't get too much rain on top of all the snow. I'm afraid if we do, the trees that are already covered with snow are just gonna get weighed down even more, and that's when we can start getting all the power outages. It's supposed to warm up in the 40s today, so hopefully we don't have any issues. We've had a lot of people asking and saying about Andy walking funny. He's always walked funny. I don't know if you can see, but he's got a funky toe right there on the back of each one of his legs. And he's always been that way. What are you hunting for, Figaro? Huh? When Andy's running around, he kind of does like a funky run, hop, skip, run, hop, skip, and he's always done that. And that's because of, I don't know if he's missing a toe or he's got like an extra half a toe on each one of his feet. It's odd and it's always been that way. I was gonna wear my good coat out to go milk Willow, but just thinking. My vest that I wore yesterday when we brought her to get bread smelled like male goat for me picking her up. I wear this outside and I'm touching her when I'm milking. Probably smell like male goat. Cause when we put him to bed last night, she still smelled like the male goat. So I better put on a different jacket. We'll put another barn coat on. It's 28 degrees out and it's starting to rain even harder now. We'll probably be able to hear it better in the goat barn. Good morning. Let's see. Oh, I do smell male goat. There it is. Not frozen. You ready? You want your chaff hay? Willow. Don't eat their chaff hay. You'll get more than they do. See what happens. If everything works out from yesterday, we'll be having goat kids around May 1st. This cat cracks me up every time we go to leave the barn. There he is. What are you doing? Coming to keep an eye on us? He knows when we're gonna be out milking, comes and finds us, and then he wants us to let him back in the house. Oh, he's a silly cat. I should probably explain a little bit when I say, Willow smells like a male goat, pew. So, female goats have a little bit, and I mean very little bit of a goat smell. You can hardly smell it. A male goat, you know if you've ever gone to a petting zoo and you go by the goats, it's like, wow, they stink. That's what a male goat smells like and you're usually smelling that. That's the hormones, whatever you want to call it, that they put off to attract the female goats. They pee all over themselves sometimes and they think the stinkier they get, the more they're gonna attract the female goats. So that's what Willow smells like today, just from rubbing around with the buck yesterday. So if you're thinking about getting goats and you're afraid to get goats because they smell, if you don't keep a buck, you don't have to worry about that. Today's another day. I don't think the sun's gonna come out. So this is like day six of no sun. Oh. 
I feel like we're in that movie, 30 Days of Nights. I hope that doesn't happen to us. Everybody on the YouTubes wants you to come out so they can see you outside. You don't want to, do you? I can't blame you. I'm waiting to see Figaro, which is right there, jump down onto Pluto. I noticed last night that the chickens had eaten all their calcium, which is ground up oyster shells that we feed them. And that helps keep their eggshells nice and hard. Something spooked him. We had a bunch of viewers asking us in the comments the other day, where do we get Pluto's sweater? Gina got it on Amazon. I'll put it in our Amazon shop and I'll put a link to it in the description down below. I can't get over how early in the morning these chickens have been laying their eggs lately. Hey Moose, I stole your eggs. You okay with that? Huh? You good? Well, I don't think we're gonna be hanging Christmas lights outside today. You wanna go outside and get all wet? No. No? I don't know if you can see all the rain coming down right now. Hear that rain? Mm -hmm. One egg. Get one egg. Third, a cup of oil. We use avocado oil when we bake. Don't spill it. I filled it right up for you. It should come out to be a little... Just above a cup. Rain's coming down I good. Go It'd be more like skiing, getting covered in water. Why you get covered in water? More like skiing? jet skiing. Uh, I don't ski, but I don't think you get wet. You can have muscles. I'm make a scraper thing. Maybe it's gonna have to make me some labels. Flour and sugar. Yeah? Someday? The cricket? Mm -hmm. And. Here's your baking powder. Thank you. Ooh, it's messy. Mix 
I want to get the one with the statue thing again. Lava. Gooey lava. Gooey lava. Do you remember picking these blueberries this summer? Remember how hot and sweaty it was? Melting. And now it's... Melting again. Raining and s snow outside. So let's just pretend it's hot and sweaty. Okay. Actually, Libby's, we just drove by the farm yesterday that we picked those at, didn't we? Now you're making handmade blueberry muffins. I'll put the cinnamon and sugar on after. Yeah. The fun part. Yeah. Is this your favorite part? Gonna be some good breakfast. Yeah. Don't, look inside my dirty oven. don't see the mess. Quick, close it. Dad, if you're watching, do you remember on Sunday nights we make like a cinnamon roll cake and we have peaches on a lazy Sunday and we call it Sunday night supper cake? Yeah, this kind of reminds me of that. You can't wait, you already want to eat one? All right. Want some butter on it? No, oh, it'd melt so nicely. You sure? Uh. Yeah, butter on blueberry muffins is delicious, it's especially gross. if it's melted. What? It's gross. All right, guys. Olivia said now we got another dispute. Do you put butter on your blueberry muffins? Yes. No. Yes. No. Ah, she doesn't know what she's missing out on. Yes, I do. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> no. You don't know what you're missing out on putting ketchup on your breakfast. Oh, yes, I do. When you put ketchup on your breakfast, you just ruin breakfast. No, when you, you put don't. butter you're on your blueberry muffin, you make it delicious. No, you ruin it. No. You ruin it. No. Yes, you do. No. Uh, no, listen, you say that you, if you put ketchup on your breakfast, you ruin it. But it tastes so really good. Since, I got a question. Since a blueberry muffin is considered breakfast, do you want me to put ketchup on it? No. I mean, like, eggs. Oh, okay. How's the blueberry? Good. Good. Haven't seen the goats out of the barn much this afternoon. I should probably go check on them. Make sure they're all right. I'm assuming they've just been staying in because it's been raining out all day. Another day when the sun didn't come out. What are you doing, Buttercup? Willow. You girls want some more hay? Bet you do.
Let's see, will the light turn on? Ah, oh, yes. Water's looking good. You still stink. Yep, you, you smell funny. Sorry. Just think, Willow, if you're pregnant, we won't have to bring you back. But if you're not, you'll have to go back. Well, I guess we got some kind of solar gain today because the Christmas lights are on. They weren't on all last week. That's cool. They're working. Tonight we're gonna make an orange chicken marinade, but we're gonna be using it for pork. We got one cup of chicken broth, got half a cup of sugar, do half a cup of orange juice, and last time when we made it, we used white vinegar. Tonight we want to try doing it with apple cider vinegar. See if it makes it a little sweeter. Last time I had a little zing. Didn't yeah, it? like a, it was good and then the appetite had a little zing. Yeah. We'll try cider vinegar. A little bit of garlic. Two cloves minced. And we need a quarter of a cup of tamari or soy sauce. It's a little Can you need yeah, we should stir it. We're gonna heat it till it boils. And then we're gonna put two tablespoons of cornstarch mixed with two tablespoons of water to thicken it up. Now that the mixture is boiling, I'm gonna add in the cornstarch with water. And now it's gonna to start to thicken. Gotta make some rice in the instant pot to go with it. Find if I put boiling water in the instant pot, it makes it cook a lot faster. I'm using the leftover pork from a pork roast we had last week. Cut it up and cube it. Did you have a hard day? Did you have a hard day? Did you have a hard day?
How can I have a shovel? Because I have one really small big one. And you wanted that for yourself? Give me that one. Give me that one. How many broccolis can you get in your teeth? I said, how many broccolis can you get in your teeth? That looks so good. Can you get in your teeth? Oh, figure I was waiting for some leftovers. You ready to go out and lock up the animals? Yeah. <laughs> figure I was trying to open the door. Yeah. Can you get it, Figs? Get it. Open it. No. No. Oh, that's why I couldn't open it. I think some of the snow has been falling off the roof. It's right onto their ramp. Chickens are done. Did you see their water? No. Turn around, right down in front of you. Oh. Avocado oil oh. is their new oh. flavor of water. I got it. You got it? I think so. So far, it's been working. <laughs> Got their hay, they're all happy. How slick it is? Okay. It doesn't normally go that far. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, except you can start to see the wood. I wonder how the firewood pile is going to be. Oh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> You're pretty tall up there. I said you look pretty high up on this side. He was watching right next to the camera. Yeah. That was fun. Figaro was watching with you guys too. Crazy cat. I know life can be hard sometimes and fighting the good fight isn't always easy, but you know what? We're going to get there. So keep fighting the good fight and we'll make it through. 
I'm gonna go put another log in the fire and we'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres. Bye.